Good morning, Miss Shabazz. Good morning. We are so happy to be here with you at Poppin' Pizza. It has become a staple in the community. <laughs> and so we are excited to interview you for Black Business Month. Yes, ma'am. Um, I have to ask, um, what differentiates your business from every other pizza business in the community? Um, first, I think what differentiates us is we're the only black owned pizzeria in Shreveport Bossier. That's the first thing, you know, it's different than the rest of them. Um, but we put a lot of love into our food. We don't mind creating things that you have not seen in other places, um, in other restaurants. We don't mind using more of everything. We try to make our pizzas more like you would make them at home, as we always get pizzas from other places or used to and add stuff to it because it's just not enough. So we would rather give you more, you know, more love, more us, more Shreveport Bossier. That's what we feel. For me, I want Poppin' Pizza to be that place that stands out um, against everything else, especially downtown, everything being so beige and just regular, I'll say it like that. Color. Yes, when you see Poppin' Pizza, it's colorful. Um, like us, it's very colorful. We stand out, it looks fun, and it doesn't look like anything downtown or in Shreveport, I feel. Just like me, I wanted Poppin' Pizza to be a work of art. Everything we do, we try to make it a work of art. It's important for me to have a place that local artists can bring their artwork. They can bring their t-shirts, they can bring their jewelry, whatever it is, and hang it here and be proud because we have people come from all over the country to try our food. And when they come in, they want to see what's local. They want to see those local wares. They want to see the local artists. Um, this was somebody local painted this and they're trying to buy it. So Absolutely. it's a platform for them as well. We wanted people to see what we were doing. Um, and it seemed like overnight it took off. Poppin' Pizza currently is on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, from the day we took over Poppin' Pizza's Facebook page, it had 888 followers. Today it has 8,412. Um, Instagram is steady growing. Um, we have about 1,500 followers on Instagram and almost 2,000, I think, on TikTok. But social media is always right in people's faces. Absolutely. It's when we moved here, um, it was a lot of factors that went into it. Um, our location that we were in, it was just, we were outgrowing it. Um, we were busting at the seams. We could not put anything else in the location we were in. But then when this place came along, um, it's actually cheaper being here than it was in our old location. Um, so when I saw it, I said, well, I don't know. We have to, I had to think about it. We had to think about this for a little bit. Um, but then when I came down and I saw how big it was, and I immediately saw the possibilities of being able to do slices where people could come in and grab a slice on lunch and not have to wait for 50 pizzas to get done before their pizza is done. I saw the walking traffic. I saw you know, all of the businesses around us. And then I also remember living downtown and being downtown and trying to find something to eat something that's not extremely expensive, something that's not fine dining, you know, just something regular. Um, and so, tasty. yes, but tasty, <laughs> you know. And so I just kind of wanted to be a part of that. I know folks feel like downtown has kind of fallen off or have gotten quiet or there's nothing to do downtown. But I wanted to be a part of the growth, the regrowth of downtown um, and make Poppin' Pizza just this thing that's been there and, you know, like nothing new, like this has been here, you know. And But I wanted to create something different and encourage people to come downtown because that's going to help our city grow is when our downtown grows.